Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part two, and this makes a little bit more sense to me. I was doing this earlier, and this is what the my guru was trying to explain, I guess, with a bitmap. This thing's not in the center. If you hit P, it's not in the center. And if we take in indexing lines and hit P, you can see how far off it is. Now, if we take a circle that I just drew that's the same size, it's off by that amount. So this is what he was trying to explain, I think. Take a two-point line like I did in the first video. Now, this isn't going to be quite as accurate because it's a bitmap, and it's not going to really... Uh, be, you know, it's hard to tell. You'd really have to zoom in to see if you're close. And I'm not going any particular angle. Let's zoom in. So I'm close enough, close enough, probably close enough for this bitmap. No, I'm a little bit off there, but I don't really think it really matters in this particular case. So we're going to grab the same thing we did a while ago and break that apart and then grab our two lines and go to object and break the curve apart so our lines are separate. Now I'm going to rotate this line 90 degrees and keep in mind that this is a bitmap. Rotate this one 90 degrees and there should be the center of our ellipse if you wanted to, you know, do something with the center. Let's just see how close our center one is. If we hit P, well, is that, is that far off? So let's do this. Let's, uh, let's group this together. We need to get all of this. Let's group this together, go to object and group and group. And now let's set our nudge factor on something pretty low. I'm still using his millimeters, so it might be too little. And let's nudge this over till those lines are in the center. Yeah, that's gonna take so long. So let's just move it by hand and now let's take our circle and hit P and look at that. It found the center of a circle of a bitmap. Anyway, I hope that helped. Thank you for watching.